Okay, um, I'm trying to face a Naomi versus Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan for the women's tag team titles. Okay. Uh, Liv Morgan. Don't know what was that. It was a botch. She, she, she got out of there. She caught that move flush, Byron. Could have been over with. Look, you know, it speaks to the fact that Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley are still building their chemistry as a tag team. I don't think. Oh, cover! Shoulders down! Able to roll through for Liv Morgan. I'm not gonna lie, you would have gotten. You, you, Liv Morgan would have got, so gotten. Uh, fans absolutely love them, them, but they are a Sorry, team. Sorry, They haven't quite figured out their chemistry completely yet. Look out. Rhea just tagged tag herself tag. in. Yes. And Naomi has no clue the tag was made. I don't know if the referee knows. Yes, the referee knew that. Look out. Great job, some teamwork. Oh, what a beautiful powerbomb. In comes Rhea Ripley. Might be ready to put this one away. Oh, Ripley. Ripley may be looking for another rip tie. Sasha Banks on top. Got it. We're going to have new champions. Shoulders down. We'll see new champions. Oh. oh. Okay, I love the Jimmy thought. I legit oh thought God. they was going to take the tiles off, but I'm I like, no, not transfer to champions. Man, come champions. On. Let's not do that. Liv Morgan. Do Liv not give her that Dakota team. treatment. Sasha Banks out of the ring, but not long enough, Byron. Uh, you see Sasha Banks desperately almost feeling like the tag team titles were slipping away at the last possible oh. second, picking up the pinfall. Huge kick from Naomi. Momentum now on the side of the champs. Oh, look out. Seen this oh. oh, a cold breaker from Sasha. Oh. Sit down, pop. Sit down on um, Naomi. Shoulders down. Mm -hmm. The match is fucking five minutes. Oh. And still, the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Naomi and Sasha Banks. I mean, I didn't even see what happened to Liv. A bit better with the time. The match didn't even go five minutes. What is that? Okay, uh, Naomi and Sasha Banks retain. Uh, congrats to them. Um, I really don't know who are next for those tag team titles. I mean, there's really nobody in that division. I mean, unless... I'm not even going to me mention it, but... Uh, I mean, who else is in that division? You're going to need to call Toxic Attraction to, to, to unify the belts. You're going to need to call them. They need, they need to unify the titles. Or give it a rip tie. Thank you. Woo! That's good, man. That is good, man. Get her out of this tag team. Be a solo. I need Rare Ripley as some badass she was for NSC, man. Look at the difference between Rare Ripley on NSC compared to the main roster. If, she, if they put her back in that NXT persona, everything would be. Would be good. It looks like Rhea just does not like losing. And who can blame her? Uh, she doesn't like losing. That's boiled over into an absolute attack now, that we did not see. I enjoyed I, I like that heel turn. I like that heel turn. It gets her out of this tag team. She's back as a solo. Now all they need to do is put her in it. If you want to throw her in this, in this fashion with Edge, I'm all down for it. Turn her back into this NXT persona. Fill her up. And maybe... If anybody, if, if anybody's going to be a threat to Bianca Belair, I honestly think it's Rhea Ripley. Um, I believe Bianca and Rhea Ripley are 1-1. Are one, one. They're tied at 1-1. One, because one. I remember their match from Tennessee Takeover Portland. Rhea won that one. 
and I believe Bianca beat Rhea Ripley in a match to get the last spot in the Elimination Chamber. And that's how Bianca got to the Raw Women's Championship. So she won that match. So they're 1-1. When do we get the third match between those two? I say do it at SummerSlam, but I want Bianca to have a lengthy, a lengthy run. You know, give her a good, solid six, six months with, with the championship. Honestly, she could take it throughout SummerSlam. And if you and if Rhea is the challenger for SummerSlam, then I won't mind. Be, I don't. I won't mind Rhea, Rhea being Bianca. I honestly won't mind it at all. And Rhea and Bianca can, can have, have a feud over the championship. As long as Bianca is not a transitional champion, I'm all, I'm all okay for this. Or they can hold it off. Bianca can... Rhea Ripley can win, can win money in the bank. She can hold the briefcase until January 2023. And that's when she takes the title off of Bianca. But I want Bianca to have a lengthy reign with it. I don't want her losing it so quick. So it all depends on how they book her, book her as champion. So yeah. But if Rhea Ripley is the one to dethrone Bianca Belair, I'm all down for it. They can either do it at SummerSlam. You can do it at. You can do it at. At the World Rumble. You can do it at the at day one because WWE is gonna have another day one pay per view in twenty twenty three, so I'm all down for that as well. So yeah, those are three places you can do it at. So I'm all down for it. 